Hey, good morning. Um, so basically, I, I figured I'd do kind of a video. This is going to be rough because I'm going to try to do the editing on the fly. Um, just basically tips and tricks on how to save a little bit of money um, by shopping like little out of the way, hole in the wall discount stores for food. And I'm talking like also Dollar Tree. Uh, you can pick up some good stuff here. But Go look around and see what you can find because I know this company, they have stores throughout the country. It's called American Discount Foods. Uh, let's see if we can flip the camera. There you go. So like I said, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to go in, I'm going to show you the prices and I am going to do editing on the fly. So this might be rough, but I'm going to show you some of the deals I can find in this place. And this is in... There's two of these stores in Phoenix. One is here in the Mesa area, and there's one in the Phoenix area. And I highly suggest look around for your large discount stores. All right, let's get going. Better picture. There you go. And here's our first bargain. There you go. That's what they are. 79 cents. That's pretty damn good. So, there you go. If you happen to like Dr. Pepper Cherry, 88 cents is better than three bucks. All right, here's another really good bargain. That's 36 cams. 36 cams for 8.99. Pretty good deal. Now I don't eat these, but I'm assuming that's a good deal. They do also get paper products, so you got your solo cups or hefty solo cups. They usually have a ton of toilet paper. I am quite shocked that they don't. That is interesting. There you go. Let's see. You have. You can pause, slow it down. I'm actually quite peeved right now because I just spent money on that. And I spent 15. So that's rather irksome. So the other side. So there you go. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not eating canned anymore, so I'm going through what I have, but not bad. Another reason why I love this place. And I'm kicking myself because they have the 42 pound pack. For thirteen dollars away, thirteen dollars. I'm kicking myself for that. And then they have these. They have Y song uh, for nine ninety nine. That's not bad. Supreme source for eight ninety nine. Um, the blue. This is for dogs, cats. $7.99 for greenies. I don't get those. <laughs> Here we go. Lemon meal. $12.99. Oh, sorry. You didn't see that. That's down here. So, not bad. And again, these discount stores, these discount, they, they're literally everywhere. Every city is going to have at least one. So, let's keep going. Now this is their markdown section, so more than likely everything here is out of date. And that's one of the things that you gotta do is check. Also, so you can get an idea of how big this store is. It is huge. But they also have health products. Whoop, whoop. Keto. And it is extremely random what they get. Because what they do is they do um, auctions of discontinued goods or um, open packages. Like if you get someone opens up a package of toilet paper or tampons or any of that type of stuff. Companies generally wrap it up and put it in a pile of go bags. And then those go bags go to a truck that they can go to a place that then auctions it off. And then a company like this buys it. There you go. I think my daughter drinks this. It's Tazo green tea. I don't know the prices, but they're different. There's giant peach, iced green tea, spaghetti right next to it. 
Lance. Those are those toasty toast chee peanut butter. It's not bad. We'll go for a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. So you know that's the Christmas stuff they put out. And it's going for $2.99. Not bad. Haven't found anything. My cart's empty so far. Now these. These are the things I have been eating. These are the veggie straws and stuff. And they're usually about four, $4 about. They're selling them for a buck forty-nine. These aren't the cheese puffs. And I don't need any of these right now because I found a place that had a whole bunch of the smaller packages of these two for three dollars. So we'll do another sweep of the snack aisle. These are like the chips and stuff. And then you got the odds of any new things that come in. They do have some pop tarts right there. There you go. Not bad. I'm also trying not to get people in here. So, not bad. Oh, Velveeta. Cheese Whiz. I'm going to have some Espanol, but this is the little popcorn section, but they got all the Christmas stuff. These things are going for like 15 bucks during Christmas, so it's a good deal. That's the other. They usually have the little snack size ones, but they got rid of all of that to put all of this in here, so. And they're constantly changing. Blankets. Oh, they got a weighted blanket. Oh, it's only 12 pounds. That's that one up here in the top corner. Uh, they got the yard sprayers, bleach, pine sole. Pine sole is $8.99. Honey smacks. I'm trying to catch the prices too. So if you leave in the if you live in the Phoenix metro area or the Mesa metro area. There we go. You're gonna catch conversations in here, so sorry, but what do you expect? There you go. There you go. That's Chips Ahoy's. Total bags. 25 cents each. That's awesome. There you go. Oh, Johnsonville. I used to fall for these. Okay, these are the Gold Oreos. This is the snack and cookie aisle. I got Reese's, Chips Ahoy's, oh that was my kryptonite, and then more cookies and stuff. Oh, takes their Oreos, oh regular Oreos, two twenty nine. dollars not bad. There you go, and then here we go, some more Sandy's, Keeblers, they're a buck ninety nine. let's see it on there. It's crackers, Godiva, this is like the sugary sugary stuff. That we're getting into. There's always interesting things mixed in that you catch here and there. Let's go over to this side. There you go. I realize this changes literally day by day, week by week. Oh, Whitman, Whitman shaker free sampler. Ooh. There you go. This is usually my kryptonite section, which would usually be oh, right there. I freaking love Reese's peanut butter cups. But no, 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 not in the dash diet. I ain't doing it. This is their beauty section, and then they have like the mechanical stuff, like right along here. Giant ass fan, clothes, beauty, makeup, that kind of stuff, and. This is the section I don't usually hit because it's got the shampoos, the body washes, whoop, <laughs> clothes, and I just kind of skip this section. Some more of it over here. All generally about half off. These are the mini cans. Sprite Zero Sugar. $2.99. There you go. Fanta on that side. So, not bad. I hope this on the fly is working. And I hope you're enjoying it. We're in the cereal aisle right now, which I don't eat. So hold on, let me show you what they have. I'll do a quick pan and scan. This is about a buck ninety-nine to two ninety-nine. So let's go ahead and so we get the honey snacks, Rice Krispies. I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to keep. Oh, ooh, that's good for heart healthy. Let's do quick. Special K, more oatmeal, 
Raisin Bran, Fruit Roots. I have no idea what that is. Cheerios, Apple Jacks. All extremely bad for your health. Oh, fruity Pebbles. I love Fruity Pebbles. Um, so let's keep going. A granola. Not bad. Pop-Tarts. Not bad price. More granola. And again, this changes literally day by day, week by week. Bars. Oop, they got Atkins. What flavor is that? Oh, lemon tart. Not bad. So you can get an idea of prices. This is like their huge supply of drinks. It's almost all Propel. $7.99 cents a bottle or $7.99 for the big packs. So, not bad. There is some Gatorade. So, and that's $11.99 for the whole pack or $0.89. Cents. This used to be the space where they had all the ketchup. It's all gone. <laughs> now they have all these different interesting mixes. They got a buffalo mayo blend. Grey Poupon, <laughs> more organic mayonnaise, just so you can get an idea of the prices. Here we go on this side. Ooh, Jack Daniels. Ooh. My stomach growling, I have food at home, no. Here we go. This is usually the area I kind of hit. I have some of this right here at home. This is so good. Maybe a nut oil spray. Oh, that's. Oops. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Look at this. I mean, these prices are just. Holy crap. If I would steep. Mmm. But I'm still eating it. Shelled walnuts, 79 cents. They're a small package, though. I mean, meh. I mean, eh. This is also their spice. And cinnamon oil, black sesame seed, cinnamon, hot paprika, poultry, poultry seasoning, steak seasoning, breadcrumbs, Italian volcano lemon juice, chip puffed. I like fluff. Morsels and more truffles. There you go, and then flip, and then this is their bulk stuff. So they actually have. Oh, I'm gonna grab that. That's the only panko. Oh no, they do have more panko. This is panko. So you'll see. Buck seventy-two for all of that. So not bad. Then almond abstract. The extract. I'm Englishing well. This is the canned veg and the fruit section. We got cut green beans for dollar oh nine. I think it says dollar on dollar oh nine. Apples and anything else. It's usually where their spaghettios are. Sweet potatoes. Let's see. Oh, not really. Sweet peas. So let's keep going. There you go. This is a camp. Campbell's chicken noodle soup, 79 cents for a can. Not that at all. All the taco makings. Beans. Cheese whiz. Let's see. Again, you can slow down, pause. Hunts. Diced. Tomatoes? Wow. Wow, these went down in price. 49 cents. Damn. And this is usually the area I stop for my son um, to pick up, you know, odds and ends of quick, easy meals. But today it doesn't seem like they have much. Really? Oh. Organic. Not bad. Buck ninety nine. Homemade Alfredo for a buck forty nine. Oh, I'm 
been debating about that one. And Mountain Dew, fourteen ninety nine. It's for the half liter, liter twenty four ounces. So again, not bad. More healthy food. And then we have the freezer section in front of us, which usually has some good stuff. And then this is just going to be a quick once over. This is their juice aisle and their random carbonated sodas, which you can usually find root beers, sarsaparillas and whatnot. Sodas on this side. And then it moves down. Oh, they got Diet Coke. And they start moving in more into the juices and stuff, which by the way, if you ever go looking for juices, like especially apple juice, you want to take a look and verify that it doesn't say from concentrate which will usually be back in this little section so half the time i don't buy apple juices unless it's martinelli's or treetop then it dawned on me you guys might be interested in the tea and or coffee that was my mom's favorite maxwell house or there was a cuban blend of some sort Ooh, <laughs> my daughter would love that. This is the section right before the freezer section. It's literally the odds and ends area where they just, like they don't have places that they know they're gonna put in their bread section. So, oop. You see, they have ice creams. Different lactate, rebel. There we go. I gotta come over here and look to see if they have either coffee or vanilla because my son wanted some. I don't think I see any. There you go. Just on on me, you guys probably hearing me going. Um, I've lost feeling in my left foot. <laughs> Which is usually what happens when I'm in here. Um, so let's go ahead. We're hitting the freezer section. There we go. Oh, they got shredded chicken. I don't like shredded chicken on my, I put it on my salad. So you can get an idea. Chicken breast, grilled. And then we come to the section, ooh. So bad for you. Usually, oh, this is so bad for you, but let's come over here. This is their meat section. For a while there, they were getting the Wendy's hamburgers, which was great. But this is beef patties, but I don't know what the um, fat rating is on it, so I can't even. They got beef, New York strip, $11.99 for two of them. That's not bad at all. Ooh, that sounded loud. That is corned beef, is what this is. So I'm assuming that's what all of that is. There we go. Vein strip steak. Lamb loin chops. This is where I come to get my rack of lambs. 26. $26 for this rack. And then it looks like they have a bigger rack. Oh, that is hefty. Back of lamb, $39.02. Oh, that is hefty. Plant-based burgers, $2.99. So, I mean, not bad. There you go. Seat pack, $3.99. Devour. Angus beef and bacon. I think it's mac and cheese or cheesy potatoes or something. Not bad. $2.49. Also, hello! <laughs> this is our little chicken section. I don't need chicken right now. I got a ton of chicken at home. Like pre breaded and all that. And then on that side is the deli meats. You can see. $2.49 for them for Oscar Mayer. Don't know how those prices are right now at the grocery stores. <sighs> Pie! Yum! Plus some organic cookies of some sort. That was still eating bacon. Wow! That's a lot of bacon. 
Oh, damn. I paid like two bucks for those. 49 cents. There you go. There you go. More bacon. Oh, man. Oh, right, man. Damn. Oh, this is still damn good prices. The fully cooked. That's what I used to get when I was really lazy. Let me just, oh. There you go. Quick scan of what they have for cheeses. There you go. I absolutely love brie, and I can't eat it. If I, ooh, they also got pub cheese. I mean, I'll tell you, that whole thing, buck 98, damn good price. Now this is what I was talking about earlier. Always check your face when you come into a discounted store. Sometimes you'll grab something and it'll be out of date already. I'm just kind of over my shoulder looking at the moment. Doing the whole thing that jumps out at me. Oops, I brought you in too far. Ooh, truffles. My left foot just went, mm -mm. that was what that wobble was for. You're going to sit here while I'm <laughs> saturated 25%. <laughs> Too much cholesterol. Let's see. Here, we'll flip so you can see what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at. I think, yep, those are eggs, pre-scrambled egg bites. Pincata, not bad. Corned beef, <laughs> god damn, $7.99. Oh my god, I need to get this for my son. It's a ghost pepper cheese. We we are absolute cheeseaholics. We love cheese. This is literally all I've gotten so far, just so you know. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about earlier. They get the strangest assortment of items. And there's a boot. And then this is the area where you usually find the really good cheese. I mean, really good cheese. Ooh. Oh, pretty not. No, 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 no. Gotta say no. But here we go. Fetas. Goat cheese. This is the one I'm looking at right now. And since it's so small, I need this one right here. I might buy this as a treat for one of my treat days. So, there you go. Yeah, that's the interesting stuff they get. Here, hold on. I tried this uh, a couple of months ago and I didn't get more of it. I'm grabbing that. But, I mean, it's just like, oh my god. Oh yeah, and they do get... I mean, I used to get my mozzarella here all the time. And then, they have a ton of veggies. Now the thing is, with their veggies, they get it from a local farmer's market, they send it here. And I just rather go up to the Asian market and get it. So I do need a white onion. So I will grab a white onion. And a bag. I can't do that one. <laughs> I get to do this. And also, oh, sorry. The prices are not bad. But again, I go to my Asian market. I accidentally turned off my recording, so I'm going to have to do one edit. Um, but yeah, this is basically, I usually shop here when I have a working car. Um, generally, about once a week, I'll come by, see what they have, I grab whatever they have. I mean, even here. They have plates and dishes. They have a massage gun. That's not bad. I mean, those go generally for like 50 to 60 bucks. That's not bad. But um, my mother, I used to bring her here. Um, she would spend hours. This is actually as long as you guys have been watching it is about how long I've been in here and my mother would spend three hours in here. 
and they used to have like a little restaurant in the front that um, you get food from. And they supplied it from the stuff in here, which was great. And it was cheap. I used to sit there and I'd buy the food and I would eat. And then sometimes there'd be homeless people sitting here and you could get a full meal, burger, drink, and fries for like three bucks. So I would turn around and buy a meal for someone. So, or leave the money for someone. But yeah, that, this is, I'll, I'll continue this outside. So let me get to the cash registers and I'll see you outside. School supplies. They do do get a lot of school supplies usually in and around November, but not bad. Prices aren't bad either, so. Anyway, like I said earlier, see you guys outside. Oh, also the other cool thing they do, um, and, and some discount stores do it. Um, I know one of the ones my mom used to go to that we became friends with the owner. Um, you get coupons and stuff for free stuff. Uh, this place you get to spin a wheel, and you can get up to, I think, like $50 off on your next visit, which is really cool. All right, yeah, I know why you said I was going to talk when I was out of the car, but 15 bucks. 15 bucks. I didn't grab any soda. I didn't grab any big things, but I grabbed the panko crumbs, gourmet cheeses, onion. I think sounds like it's parting. And then I grabbed my son. Because <laughs> I'm going to spoil them. So, alright. Give me a second to get everything in the car. And I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So as you can see, the sun hasn't changed that much. So I haven't been in there that long. And, um, yeah, they got great deals in so many things. The only problem is, it's like now, with this lifestyle change and having to avoid certain foods because of sodium, certain foods because of cholesterol, um, I just think... <laughs> Literally, one of the things I used to love, I just looked at 25% of your daily intake of cholesterol, and I just went, okay, can't eat that. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, so, and then, so, that's funny. Oh, my God. Um, these little discount stores are in every metropolitan city. I mean, you can find them. You just need to look for them. Um, you can, like, Google discount food stores, and sometimes that will pop them up. Um, or just keep an eye when you're driving and see if you find anything like that. Because I do know American Discount Foods um, did expand and they are in other cities. But I don't know what cities. And I know when my son was in Richmond, Virginia, um, pre-COVID. Ah, you're not supposed to use that word. Crap. Sorry. Um, he found one. Uh, well, they didn't go in, but he was just like, oh, okay good know that there is one here so it, it, it's just a little bit of a challenge looking for them there are there used to be a ton of them um there used to be four in this area uh the mesa fiesta mall area and we're down to this one so but we have the asian markets which usually have great prices i might do that next let me know uh let me know if you found this at all interesting informative if i can do anything better please leave a comment let me know um because i am trying to figure this out i'm thinking my channel might be kind of a, a, a lifestyle channel or a variety channel i don't know uh because i am all over the place but add i'm all over the place in reality uh, but hey mama d have a great day have a great night have a great morning see you next time